Oh, that's a guaranteed hit. Kablam. Oh, this Liberty's built like a brick shit house. Hello everyone and welcome back to Yubo, where you join us on our final patrol. Now it's not because we're close to finishing the Arctic Convoys, it's I will be completing the Arctic Convoys campaign in between this episode and the next one. And we'll be moving on to something a bit more exciting, maybe like the Black Pit, or even more exciting than that, the Eastern Seaboard, since it's now unlocked to us. Which I think is going to be a lot more exciting, planning for more longer ranged patrols than the ones that we're currently doing. But this will uh, fully cement to us that we are indeed the Arctic Wolf. I want to know how many convoy escorts there are, and if there's any Liberty ships amongst them. Because if we can get in and sink the convoy escorts, then we can do the surface attack on the it's a nice tidy little convoy isn't it i think what i might do is i might get some distance between us and the convoy and come and get in front of them oh they're being attacked but by whom oh shit That was too close. What's another U boat doing in my patrol sector? Helps us out. We can at least keep up with the. At least we can keep up with the convoy. And it's mostly unprotected. Where's the wolf pack point? Over there. Nah, we're not going to do that. We are the Arctic wolf. We're the Arctic lone wolf. Let's disable the alarm. Those who need to rest, rest. For the time being. You are an empire explorer. No, you're a bell. My apologies. You're doing 13. Force. That away. Set. Distance. Up the mast. About there. Close. That was a good hit. We're going to get out of here just a little bit, so we're going to put down the periscope. We come south a little bit, and we're going to get a little bit of air. So the convoy has officially split. I swear the Arctic convoys do some really, really weird shit. That's the official convoy, and this is the non of weird. They were all part of one group, and they just split up. Oh, well, now because of our angle of attack, we might be able to get about two of these vessels in one salvo if mr nod's been doing his bloody job let's just triple check shall we oh you you've been good good lad right distance now about there all right <clears throat> now we need to come perpendicular uh, we're not going to be able to mr nod wasn't very much on top of his job oh that's a guaranteed hit kablam Oh, this Liberty is built like a brick shit house. Do they have any other Liberties amongst them? That's a C3, and that is armed. I can tell from here it's got a gun deck on the front of it. Look, there's two guns on the front. That is what I was afraid of. See? That is a C3. And there's more. One more guns there. More on the back. That Liberty has sunk. What are you? You're another C3. Oh man, they're all armed. No surface attack for us. That one, however, we can attack. There we go. Empire Gale, you're doing about 13. Force. Yep, distance. Oh yes, you're a C3. Distance. Bewässern. Rohr 1, bewässern. Los! 
Oh, why is it doing this? Oh, God. Why did you turn around? I don't understand. You're almost on target and you go, oh, I'm going to change course now. Oh, one was enough anyway. One was enough. Uh, let's just put a pin in it, just for future reference. I'm scared of that torpedo. I am really scared of that torpedo. Look at it. Just... Alright, slow down. Uh, there. Cool! Alright, a periscope. Okay, you are an Empire Explorer. Velocity is doing 13. Course, same thing. Distance of the mast is about there. Oh, this is going to be a miss. Oh, only just though. Second one's not, not going to miss though. Yeah, what I might do here, so not to waste torpedoes, is I'm going to surface. And we're going to sink. Let's have a target, this target close to us. Alrighty, get on the guns. There we go. That was what I was looking for. Any more of those, please? Yeah, she's going down. I know she's going down, but I wanted to go down a lot faster than what she is. I want the crew to realize that their ship is structurally... The hull is no longer seaworthy and is to abandon, and that's what they've realized. Uh, we are going to submerge. They were being shot at. I need to remember that we've got a hydrophone contact right behind us. They're in our baffles. That guy is gunning for it. Uh, up snorkel. And change the diesel so we can catch up. Alright. Suck onto them. Uh, identify it as a C3. We're going to do the speedometer thing because he is not doing 13. He is booking it. Uh, let's just get us a nice, clear, uninterrupted view of the vessel. Three, two, one. I missed the clock. I missed the start button. Oh, bloody wave! And now. Yeah, that's what I thought. He is booking it. Off this roughly there. Distance. Mast. About there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of that and we're going to drop our speed right down. Just in case the torpedoes go, hey, they're most likely going to be duds. That looks good though. It's going to hit. Whether it detonates, it's different. Oh, you beauty. That slowed you down. Hopefully. Did you slow you down? Let him go! <laughs> He's so quick, I'm doing 25 underwater. And we're only just keeping pace with him. What are you doing now? About 18? Of course. There's more like that. Velocity. Doing 20, okay. Uh, let's fire one at you. Oh. Oh. That was crazy. It had though, exploded. Uh, I hate those lock on ones sometimes. Spun them around. That game glitch, holy crap.
I have no idea what's going on. I, I swear the active convoys are balked in this game. I swear they're bug ridden messes. The amount of weird shit I have seen, which you guys probably haven't seen a lot of, but I've cut out. Okay, so we're going faster than him again. He's doing about 20. Okay, you are definitely going that way. You're doing about 20 kilometers per hour. Please hit him. Please. You got hit. And they're gone. Thank Christ for that. All right, surface. Oh, Hugh McCullough. McCulloch? Hugh McCulloch? You were a tough ship. Very weird, though. Very bugged, in my opinion. And we've lost sight of the ship that was behind us. Wow, that was so weird. What a weird patrol. Another reason why I want to get away from the Arctic, I just don't want to see how buggy the game actually is. <laughs> I do like this game quite a lot. But I don't like seeing it in uh, such a weird state. Okey poke. I'll just go through all these lifeboats and give them supplies. And we'll head back onto the patrol and see if we can't sink any more ships. The more tonnage we get, the closer we get to finishing this campaign sooner. This is the other thing that really bugs me with this game. I'm just going to do a quick pause. So for the entire chase, we were we were capable of doing 1800. But when every time, I swear, this, every time you head west in the Arctic Ocean, you're apparently stuck in a shallow area, so you can't go any faster than 140 time compression. There's a game bug that has been persistent throughout the Arctic Convoy part of the series, something that I keep cutting out, but I am addressing it now so that if the devs are watching this, can you please fix this bug? Because the water depth here is reasonably deep at 180 meters. Shallow, shallow water should be around about, I don't know, 20 meters of water, 30 meters. But this is, this is not shallow, not by a long shot. It's almost 200 meters deep along this entire stretch. Unless there's meant to be icebergs or something, then please simulate those. Otherwise there's, it is really frustrating, especially when you're low on supplies or you finish you finish up your patrol. You're sitting here for almost two hours waiting for shit to happen. That ship still hasn't sunk. It's just floating. Now you need to go onto the guns and actually do need the crew. So when we were when we actually attacked the ship it did drift as far as over here on our screens but it seems to have righted itself and gone oh let's go all the way as i was saying this arctic campaign and the way the ships act and everything in terms of their models and the ai is broken i don't know what's going on but it's um it's not good it's why I want to move away from it. I just, if you're playing in the Battle of the Atlantic, everything's fine. And then you end up, oh God, Empire Gale, cool. But yeah, it just seems the Battle of the Atlantic stuff has had mo most of the love and attention. Like there is no way I should be able to go into Malta's Harbor, Malta's Grand Harbor and sink stuff without any repercussions. There is no way I should be going into the port of Murmansk and Arkhangelsk and suffer the, and have the same thing happen. The weird boat stuff going on in um, the North Sea shouldn't be happening. There's, there's a lot of issues still needing to be addressed by the developers for this game because I love this game, I really do. But there are so many immersion breaking stuff, it's not funny. And there we go, we have sunk the gale at long last. Good thing I put those pins in, otherwise we wouldn't have got those points. In fact, how close are we from... Oh, you're kidding me. We've only got another 25,000 tons to go. Oh, not even that. We've got, we've just, 
We're at 22,600, sorry, 226,994 tons. So we're basically at 22,7 and we need 250. Maybe I do record the next episode for you guys. Just, I, I know you guys are probably interested in wanting to see the East Coast, but like, we're so close. We are so close. What am I doing? I would like to give those guys supplies. So I'll I'll finish this off uh, as before. I will do what I have to do. All right, uh, let's head this way because I remember there's some more vessels down this way. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is in between episodes, I did send the crew on a little break and we did end up researching the final upgrade as you can see we've got no more upgrades that need to be done on the map so we just need to install it and the up upgrade was for the radar so we're going to be pretty onto de the detection stuff pretty onto it you're kidding me i found them again you're kidding me all right, we are now officially ahead. Ah, I caught up with the... And there is actually a boat over here too. I caught up with the convoy escort. Actual vessels are probably up over here somewhere. What we're going to do is we're going to dive deep. Just to avoid these guys. See, apparently we're in shallow area, uh, in a shallow area, and the depth around here is 470 meters deep. 490. 464. Game, come on, devs, can you can you please please fix your game? I love this game. I've put many hours into it. Please fix it. Please, please give it a, the love and attention it deserves. Cool. Let's just break away from that. Uh, do a speed boost. I'm going to see if I can't find the rest of the convoy that separated from the ones that we chased down. See if we can't put a couple of torpedoes. We see if we can't put a couple of torpedoes into them. Uh, otherwise, if I can't, I will finish off this patrol. I'll finish off. I'll finish off traveling inside the marked areas, and then I will return to port to finish off the patrol. Otherwise. At the end of that, we sunk only five vessels for a total of 31,777 tons. The next episode will, will be definitely the final episode of the Arctic campaign. And then we'll definitely be moving on to the Eastern. I am excited to explore and do all the Eastern Seaboard missions. I think the only Eastern Seaboard missions I have done from all the closed bases and everything that this game has been through has been putting a weather station in northern Canada. That would be exciting to, to re-explore, as plus all the other campaigns that are available. I am looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. But we've got one, we've got one more patrol to do in the North Sea, and it's going to be the final one, I think. Thankfully. Anyway, as always, I will be doing the administrative work in between episodes i also get rid of all the survivors that we picked up as well as always i have been your host if i can't you have been watching another episode of u-boat and until next time take care